beautiful. Good morning, everybody, and uh, Namaste Ji. Welcome to Poda Island. Just about half an hour long tail ride on uh, from Aonang Beach in the province of Krabi. Oh man, what a place, what a place, Poda Island. It's a national park and uh, just coming, approaching this island, man, you can see so many of these apostles everywhere. It's just so goddamn beautiful. And the island itself, man, it's like nice. It's got a lot of shade, you know, white sand beaches. The water is crystal clear, just turquoise color everywhere. And it's 8 a.m. in the morning. We are the first people to come here and uh, just enjoying this entire island to ourselves. Another, what, what would we say, very serendipitous thing for us was man two of our friends from Manali showed up out of nowhere this was not planned at all so we're gonna spend some time with these guys as well out here and uh, yeah just really really mind blown by the province of Krab Krabi I have to say man this is just insanely peaceful tranquil beautiful and just breathtaking so the plan is that uh, there's a four island tour that you can uh, take anywhere from Aonang. So we're going to probably cover three out of those four spots today. So we have the long tail all to ourselves. We can do whatever we want all day long. So uh, we're going to go with the flow of things, I guess. <laughs> oh, this is too, too good. What do you want to do? Let's go in. Let's go in. Let's go in straight up. <laughs> I mean, just look at that. That is just crystal clear. It's goddamn beautiful. And this is so relaxing. Wind is only moving pollen. Good for making honey cotton. Rain is only water falling. Good for growing happy garden. Eat something. So, yeah. Ooh, what is there? Grilling. Coconut water <gasps> and beer. Uh, so, where's the way beer can't be there? It's four o'clock somewhere. Uh, oh, da! Cheers. Just come to the other side of the island. Found another really beautiful spot to swim out here. But yeah, that's what we've been doing. Walking, swimming. Walking, sweating, swimming. Walking, sweating, swimming. All right, people, on to the second half of the day and we are in Chicken Island. And it's called Chicken Island because of the chicken head out there. <laughs> Do it. Okay guys, so Bati got bit by some sort of a jellyfish while he was snorkeling earlier. Can you show me like that? Yeah, there. Mm. I put some nimbu on it. How does it feel? Bones. It stings. Stings? Yeah. Okay people, so now we are at uh, Tub Island and uh, this is a cute little island, probably the smallest island Bharti and I have ever been on. <laughs> it's a really cute spot and uh, we're just getting some, yeah, drinking some beers and uh, we had packed some lunch from Poda because that's the only place where you can buy lunch and uh, yeah, chillish, chillish day today. Oh, 
mean, I love the entrance to this beach. It's like, you, again, it's like walking inside a sh uh, someone's skull. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, people, here we are at uh, Pranang Beach. Oh my God, this is beautiful. It's, you know, this beach really lives up to its reputation of being probably one of the most beautiful beaches in Southeast Asia. And uh, it is gorgeous, man. You have these beautiful limestone rocks, right? You know, overshadowing the beach. You see people rock climbing. So today we're just going to chilling. I mean, we're just going to chill out and uh, bum out on the beach. That's what you do on a beach, right? Are you seeing this? Looks like a temple uh, where you offer wooden penises. The only other place we've seen this in Bhutan, is in Bhutan, yeah, where they worship penises. Yeah. But I think over here you just make offerings. I think it's like fertility related stuff, like people wanting children and stuff like that, maybe. Maybe. All right, everyone, let's take a little bit of a moment to talk about uh, the crazy amount of beating that your skin takes when you are out, you know, on a trip like this, a long trip like this. And, uh, you know, whether you're out there in the ocean swimming or, you know, climbing mountains, uh, you know, riding around all day in traffic, sunrise to sunset, uh, I think it becomes of the utmost importance for you to take uh, care of your skin, you know, protect your skin. I'm sure you've noticed us uh, slathering on copious amounts of uh, sunscreen on our bodies while we've been on the move. Uh, man, because the sun, man, it's so harsh out here that even when it's behind the clouds, and you don't really feel it, but slowly and surely, you know, it's burning you without you even noticing. So the sunscreen by Foxtail has been our saving grace throughout this Thailand trip. I mean, I love the fact that it doesn't leave that white cast on your skin. It doesn't feel chip chip at all. And, uh, you know, it doesn't melt away and like go into your eyes and cause them to burn. I mean, we have tanned, as you can probably see, but the sunscreen has really prevented our skin from like burning and turning into papad. I mean, for the kind of lifestyle that we lead, it is one of our most essential travel accessories. And it's not just sunscreen, they make a range of skincare products like moisturizers, vitamin C serums, cleansers, basically just everything to look after the overall health and well-being of your skin. So just recently, they have completely upgraded their packaging. Uh, we had already left India by then. Uh, you guys can go check it out on their website. Uh, these are really, really high quality products uh, that you can swear by on your next outdoor adventure. Uh, you can use the code RB15 to get a 15% off. Uh, all the details are mentioned in the description. Okay, good morning everybody and today we have come to Krabi main town uh, and there's like a nice little river flowing, beautiful mangroves to both the sides and we've come out to check out a cave system within Krabi and uh, yeah, that's what we're doing today. So the two limestone mountains mm. that our boat kind of mm. was going towards, mm. they are called Khao Khanab Nam mm. and they are actually your iconic image for Krabi. And there's a saying according to this which says that uh, when you, whoever passes through this gateway, whenever they do return back home, they will definitely find their way back to Krabi another time. <laughs> which is pretty cool, so here's hoping. <laughs> Deadly machar man out here. This is such a cool entrance, but I'm so scared to go inside because we literally just have our phones for light. <laughs> oh, cool, but it's so nice to have it to ourselves. I know. <laughs> oh, Jinx, bro. Jinx. <laughs> That's <was> too much. <laughs> wow, these things are like waterfalls, dude. <laughs> Oh, this is some kind of installation. Oh, it's an art installation? Yeah. The skull is like half of me. <laughs> well, obviously this is a part of the installation as well. It's not real. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, holy shit, that's a giant. <laughs> like it completely blends in with the, the natural formation, yeah. right? The artwork. Yeah, but there is some historical stuff going on here as well. 
So this installation is showing a, a couple of Japanese soldiers from World War II and they used to use these cave systems around Krabi to like uh, hide in and stuff at night. Oh, we can walk into it. Yep. That's cool. I'm not sure now what is real and what is a part of the installation anymore. Like what is fact and what is fiction? No clue. I mean, they're not going to leave like a prehistoric tooth, right? For everybody to see. <laughs> That'd be stupid. All the, the Japanese uh, story is a little Can more easy see. to digest, I guess. But whatever. This is one hell of a spot. All right, so now we've come to check out the Tiger Cave Temple. And uh, it's like a series of caves and a living monastery where monks actually still meditate. And on top of this hill, there is a giant golden Buddha statue. So let's just go check it out. Are you ready? Yes. One, two, seven, two. One, two, seven, two steps. One, two, seven, two steps. About 550 meters On top up. of the mountain. These are pretty steep steps out here. <laughs> oh, the gradient doesn't stop. It remains this steep. It's hot. Swima. Swima, very nice, very beautiful. <laughs> All the aunties are just laughing at us. <laughs> We're at 520, Bhati. No. Keep it up. Going for it. Yeah. 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 Awesome. Awesome. All right. Great. Thank you. See Thank you. you. These steps. It's not the steps. It's yeah, the heat. Yeah, the steps is nothing. It's the heat. It's the heat. Come on, buddy. Last one. You made it. Made it. Whoa. Steep. <laughs> That's very steep. One, two, six, zero. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Town, you have to make a trip to this place, Tiger Cave Temple. Yeah, definitely. Because definitely. there's a different kind of energy on top of this mountain, and uh, we've been here for the past two and a half hours. <laughs> it's something, it's something, guys. <laughs> mm. Come back and pay? Okay. Okay, good morning everybody. It is early 7.30 a.m. and uh, we are climbing a very popular hiking trail called uh, Khao Nong Nak. Uh, it's also popularly known as Dragon's Crest. And this is a 3.5 kilometer hike uh, that goes to the top of this mountain and of course 3.5 back. In the jungles, hiking, totally different for us. And finally, we're getting to do like a proper hike. Uh, sorry about the camera fogging, it's really humid, but the temperatures are still low early in the morning, so we'll have to wait until this fogging stops. Chalo. Although it's adding a little bit of mysticism <laughs> into the shots. <laughs> Ants just catch you by surprise because <laughs> they're like, 
wrapped around these vines and uh, they're moving of course and then from far off you feel like it's a, it's a snake. <laughs> So humid out here. There's no airflow. We've sweat more in this last seven, eight hundred meters than we would on an entire hike in Manali. <laughs> it's good detox rounds. Okay, at two kilometers, you get your first view, and it's goddamn magical. It's like a postcard, man. It is like a postcard. Oh. <laughs> Holy shit, no, don't tell me it's gonna rain. It's become really dark, huh? Really dark, and the thunder booms are like. Is that the wind or the rain? I can't Hope tell. It's the wind. Hope it's the wind. Okay, we're gone. This. Oh, this sucks. She's got about 300 meters to go. I think I should just go for it. Go for it. It is what it is now. right here. I think we'll wait for the fog to kind of yeah. go because I can see blue skies out there. Yes. I don't know if you guys can see up there. A little bit of waiting and looks like God has answered our prayers. Look at that. This 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 province, na, Krabi. It's just blown me away yeah. and I really like I thought itna hi hai chalo, but like I'm just every single day has just been like what? Jaw drop every day. Absolutely.